All right, we're going to show you how to install and remove your cast aluminum heated build platform. These are the tools you'll need. Um, a two millimeter hex driver to install your tramming gauge, which can be the a dial indicator or a digital indicator. Five millimeter hex driver, Phillips screwdriver and eight millimeter wrenches and the tape measure. The tape measure is optional, it just helps you roughly position where the standoffs are going to go, um, which you can do by eye, but this will help you um, a little bit. If you need to remove the standoffs, they are held in place with an M6, in this case, um, T-nut, and they just slide out of the plate. If you notice, one of the standoffs has two washers in it. That gives it a fixed spacing so that the other two can be adjustable up or down for leveling the bed. So when we're ready to install our hotbed back into place, you take the, you, you can orient it whichever way is most comfortable. We like to put the adjustable ones on the right hand side in the second slot. I'm just going to slide that into approximate position and depending on which size of um, top plate you have the spacing of these holes might be slightly different as you can see here because the first holes are 10 millimeters in we're looking at 440 millimeters 44 centimeters between the holes these slots are on 40 millimeter spacings, so you can see that this is where our other standoff needs to go. Like I said, some of the bit hot beds may be larger or smaller, and you may orient them, you know, at a right angle to the way this one is. So what we're going to do is roughly position these where we want them. Snug this one down. As you can see, um, that hole is 20 millimeters centered. So you can visualize where the edges of your hot plate will be, and you can adjust accordingly if you want, to, if you need to move it one way or the other. And sometimes you may have another fixture mounted on one side, meaning you might want to rotate it or move it over a slot. So that's what the T slots do, please. All right, so once this lower standoff is snug, these are just barely finger tight, but loose enough that you can still slide them a little bit. What I'm going to do now is Place the plate down. I'm going to locate the hole for the fixed standoff right here. Now, what this gives us is a tripod effect for leveling. So, this one is going to stay fixed, and the other two will be adjustable to give you complete control of leveling the bed. Now, you can go ahead and snug this one down. Then, over here. I'm going to visually line up with the holes. Just check to make sure we're roughly parallel with the frame. So I'm going to come back a couple of millimeters on this side. there is a little bit of play in these in the slots like in this case I'm going to loosen this and slide it over a little bit because it didn't quite line up with the hole all right so this one's looking good
So these two on this side are our adjustment standoffs. I'm going to just make it barely snug because we want these to be able to rotate in their hole. So um, just going to snug it and turn it back just a little bit to loosen it. to install our dial indicator. If you're using a printed block, you don't want to put too much torque on the screws, just enough to make sure it's sturdy. Now I'm going to manually raise the bed. I'm just going to pull on the belt. it comes up and makes contact with the indicator. All right. We're going to get our first rough zero reading close to our pivot hole here. So I'm just going to turn this the indicator to zero. Sides a little off. So you want to make sure your lower standoff is tightened to the bed. Then the, the upper standoff. You see as I turn the wrench, it changes the height. So I'm going to get that close. Then when you tighten down the locking screw, it can move it a little bit. So there's going to be some trial and error to get it as close as you can. So we'll come back over here. So we're going to go opposite way. Bed's level and remove come back here to reinstall the cable. The cable is keyed. You can see the, the keys here, and you can match it up to the keys on the bulkhead connector. There you are, and now you're ready to attach your final build surface. If you want one, we usually put a piece of tempered glass or you know, whatever build surface you want on top of that, and you're ready to go.